up sometimes and then I like, 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 hey, so not even one thought subscriber. Why? Because what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Yeah, hello wonderful people and this is your girl on AK2 once again you welcome back to my channel how you guys doing how you guys feeling i'm doing good i'm being me and i'm being awesome so in today's video i have a very special person here with me to discuss the few things that we have learned being on youtube because we are in 2021 and we know there's a lot of sisters brothers and everybody out there trying to be on youtube so we are going to share with you the things that we have learned being on youtube as a young youtuber and we believe that you will learn a thing or two if you are interested then grab some popcorn grab some hot tea and then let's sip together as we chat with you guys so don't go anywhere we'll be right back and once again welcome back to my channel so i'm a Ghanaian based youtuber i blog about lifestyle fitness and practical experiences that inspire people so today I have with me Oferiwa here as I told you guys We are going to talk about some of the things that we have learned being on YouTube And I don't want to sit here and be talking and be biased So this pretty saucy lady here <laughs> Is here with me so that we talk about it So first of all Oferiwa let me ask you What have you learned being on YouTube for all this year? Let me greet your viewers yeah. I'm happy to be here again But you guys the last time I was here I didn't see your impact on my channel, so please go subscribe, watch my videos, like them, and share with friends and family. <laughs> this YouTube business thing is not a joke. For my fam, there are so many things that I was totally ignorant of. Now that I'm a YouTuber myself, I have a good idea of what these people, that is the content creators, what they go through to, to bring you the content that you enjoy from your homes, from your phones and everywhere you are and you really need to appreciate it because trust me one of the first things I noticed is time consuming let no one tell you otherwise you think oh so this person just got up and put this thing together and you know posted it just like oh me I can do it Charlie after taking the Such videos Editing it is another thing on its own and sometimes uploading it, data, the connection, sometimes they can take like two or three hours, you are going up and down, you are just pacing, has it uploaded, has it uploaded, if the internet is terrible, it can be frustrating, so the number one thing I would say is YouTube is definitely time consuming, if you do not have time, you won't survive so for me i think one of the things that i've really learned and it has actually taken a lot of my time is youtube grammar or youtube english as people would take say it you have um, organic view youtube analytics consistency um you know a whole lot of grammar that you hear on youtube and then you feel like okay what is this one like algorithm yeah algorithm you know is it algorithm or algorithm it's like algorithm algorithm <laughs> whatever you call it yeah. there's a lot of grammar you know on youtube that you need to take your time and gradually digest and bisect the meaning and the use and the understanding of those terms on youtube and if you don't understand them i think at some point in time you will kind of like burn out because you need to understand the youtube algorithm you need to understand monetization process you need to understand engagement the viewers and all those things so for me this thing has, this this actually has taken me through a lot of lessons that i have learned being on youtube and i think that's, you should that's the YouTube like terms. the youtube terms, terms yeah. right yeah. yeah so they have some serious terms <laughs> like if you are not a YouTuber, maybe you hear but you not pay attention to you. But once you become a YouTuber, a YouTuber you start paying attention YouTube. and then you are curious, you want to find out what, what these is. terms mean and what yeah, what's the impact for oh, the a best. YouTuber. Yeah. So I've come to realize that you need to be someone who is able to resist pressure because Charlie, you watch some people's video and the quality is top notch. It's you know on another level people say you can use your phone you know you can start cheap you do a lot of research of that but in reality you realize that mm, majority of the people you are watching are not using smartphones 
they are using really expensive camera and gadgets and they are getting a very good quality and if you are not careful the pressure might bug you get that you'll be forced to you know find ways and ways to get money to buy these expensive gadgets whereas you, you might not even be that popular or you might not even have the views but then because of pressure you might be forced to buy this equipment i would like to encourage anybody like they say start small start with what you have you know sometimes it might not come out good but like they say if your content is good then you definitely get people to follow I hope that makes sense but having the, the best quality or a better quality definitely adds to getting more views but then if you are not able to afford then you can start with a phone camera like <laughs> like me I use my phone sometimes a lot of times I've done vlogs using my phone not because I do not have a camera but even for me sometimes vlogging with camera is a tedious task so I use my phone a lot and the video quality of this phone is amazing. So one of the things that I've actually learned being on YouTube, I think when I said YouTube there was kind of like a principle and morals that I actually wanted to exhibit on my channel. That is what we call then finding your niche on YouTube. But I would say that it is good if you know before you start your channel what exactly that you really want to brand yourself with and then you start with it, that's okay. But if you are confused and you want to start with just anything too, you can start with everything and then later on you will have to find yourself because I think at some point in time on YouTube you would definitely believe that, okay, what am I doing? Where is my brand? What is what exactly do I really want to do and it is very important so you should be able to learn and understand to ask yourself this question I this person what do I want to do who do I want to do it for and what outcome do I want to achieve so that your viewers will have a fair idea of where they are going what they want and how beneficial is it going to affect them as they watch your channel so i think for you to be able to establish yourself build your brand and have a solid and understanding recommending brand that people can say oh go to this person's channel and when you come to Kuku tv you will find fitness practical life experience and then lifestyle it is very good for you to understand that and I think getting to the latter part of the year like December I had to go quiet a little in order to really find myself of which 2021 that is what I'm actually going to do to find a strong brand for my channel but at the end of it all I can tell you for a fact that YouTube is one of the solid ways of making passive income okay even if you are able to build your brand, like she was saying, if you are able to es establish a solid brand and create a niche for yourself, you will make money even when you are not posting anything. You will make money from what you've already done. And when you get the energy to post more, then it's more income. <laughs> when you get the energy to post more, more yes, then it's more income. So anybody that is willing to start this I will encourage you to start put all the shyness aside it's practice so don't feel shy in front of the camera I mean you know it, everybody started from somewhere so once <laughs> you like money I like money I'm everybody for, likes money yes everybody likes money <laughs> I'm all for anything that will bring income yeah so if you are looking at starting this I'm just encouraging you to take that step. Yeah, okay. but your first motive shouldn't be going to look for money because you do, it will actually take time. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what I was saying mm. that it's time consuming mm. and it also comes with a lot of pressure. And then aside that, it's a gradual process. Nothing comes exactly. easy. Yes, nothing comes easy. Definitely. Yes, and Rome was not built in a day. Yes. So obviously, you have to build on. And we spoke about branding. Yes. You know how branding yes. works. Even if you haven't heard from us, I'm sure you have a fair idea. It's a gradual process, and, and with time, you will be able to, you know, benefit from the effort, the time that you put into the work. When you want to research on YouTube, one of the 
what you'll be hearing on YouTube is consistency, consistency, consistency. It's like consistency here, consistency there. Consistency is actually everywhere. Everyone is talking about consistency. But my dear, one of the things that you need to understand about consistency is that consistency is about keeping up at your own pace. If somebody is talking about consistency and the person's pace is recording three, four, or seven videos in a week, it shouldn't be you to also go and kill yourself for seven videos in a week. You, you see the pressure I was talking yes, about? Yes. Some people are literally posting every day. They yes. do this nine to five. Just yeah. like it's their job. Just like you wake up to go to work. That's, that's it, their job. Like every every day. day. Hey, so don't, <laughs> yeah. So in order not to burn out on YouTube, you have to do your videos or schedule your videos based on your pace because if you want to follow other people you'll be burnt out you'll be depressed and you'll be confused <laughs> you won't be happy on youtube you feel like okay why is this person growing and i'm not growing yeah. and all those things Guys, See, you know i'm not cutting you but <laughs> sometimes eh, you put together this video you are saying to yourself Charlie this is the video your, that will make me go money, your picture. <laughs> make me go viral i'm going to trend <laughs> this one dear and you post this video oh my God. the views are dropping like it's dropping like sasa bonsa i'm trying to cry the tears are not coming Charlie, it's dropping like this don't 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 let's have some water that, that's how YouTube actually is like when you plan a video you do a lot of research you invest more time more editing see the video that you have hoping and you feel like okay this one is my breakthrough you can even hire an editor or a videographer to do it for you and when you post it but the ones that you don't even expect I remember one of the videos that I did about um, a YouTube struggle. That's one video that I think I've had a lot of yeah, yeah. because I was depressed and frustrated. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, today I'm going to speak my mind. And then I said everything that I said in the video from my mind, my heart, and people were relating to it. So that is how YouTube works. So don't be pressured. Don't allow people saying, be consistent, be consistent, and be pressured. Do YouTube based on your pace. At your own yes. at your own time that you feel like, okay, I can post one video a day. And if that video can, can inform, educate, and entertain, definitely some people or somebody will relate to it and then watch it. it is, see, one thing is YouTube is a journey. Everybody's journey is different. You see this woman here? <laughs> this woman here has like 28 videos. Uh, like 20, you have 28 yeah, videos. 28. And she's almost like 500 um, subscribers. Almost 500. Yeah, but I have more than 100 videos. And I, I'm now heading to where she is. So it's individual's journey. Yeah. Your journey might be different. Do you know that Jaina? Jaina. That lady with a snake as a pet. Oh no. Yes. And she posted just one video and she had like millions of views. Wow. And now she's making it. So my dear, your journey is going to be different from somebody's journey. Yeah. So don't follow other people's journey and believe that okay, this person is moving, this person is going, or this person did this video and it's making waves or it is attracting a lot of views. So you should also go and do it. Mm -hmm. Be on your own purse do whatever you feel like it is good for you what you are so passionate about and then do it and then gradually you will get there yeah you should be passionate about it like for someone like me i like talking whether i'm alone whether i'm with someone unless i'm not comfortable this one can around talk for you. africa unless i'm not comfortable around you or i don't know you that much but immediately i settle and i get familiar with you charlie africa I, will hear him. i can talk for the whole world <laughs> like to be in front of the camera and you know just yab 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 if you are not passionate about it you know you will lose the vim along along yeah. the way because you need a lot of patience okay and even me here i am she thinks oh i'm doing well because i'm almost at 500 yeah but i wake up sometimes and then yeah, I think, i'm like hey, so not Wait, even one more subscriber why what am i doing wrong <laughs> You get it, yes, and some people, even in Ghana here, yeah. I started my YouTube channel in, I think, May, 
right after that i've noticed a lot of people come post especially the young ones they post nothing literally yeah and they get a all the views all the following mm -hmm. and some people too they already have following on different social media platforms so then when they start their youtube channel they direct the traffic and then it helps yeah. okay but then if you are starting from nowhere like myself or like her know that consistency is key but then at your own pace because here in ghana majority of us are working so it makes sense if we have to juggle between work and then youtube so move at your own pace don't be pressured but then consistency is important and it's key in conclusion <laughs> yeah <laughs> we are believing in god oh sorry in conclusion um I'm happy to see more content creators because I even feel like there's not too much light on Ghanaian YouTube. Eh? The more we, we start YouTube channels, the more we try to put ourselves out there, then maybe they will notice us and then maybe the algorithm will favor us. So I'm encouraging everybody. Just the same. I'm encouraging everybody to, you know, start. Don't think too much. Just get, you know. Yeah. Just have to get up doing and do something it. you love and getting paid for it it doesn't get any better than that so start your youtube video now that's now that's now just get up and then do it yeah forget about pressure money everything just don't, get up no, no, and no, then don't do look it. at anybody maybe no. at the beginning they might not understand you some people may make fun of you yeah who cares i mean there's a lot of people who started YouTube with their phone that they have made it and if you go back to their channel and then you reflect on how they started you yeah, ask yourself like really yeah. and now this person because somebody like uh, Miss Judy Miss Judy started YouTube and her videos were you know mm, but today it, even she was using her phone she's still using it just recently we said that, that she, she got a camera phone. she was using her phone and now she's like 146 k you know yes, so very yeah, which is very good yeah because what she started she started with her phone and everything and even as of now i think when she sits and then she reflects on how far she has come she's even a mate so just get up and then do it if it is your phone just use your phone if you don't know how to edit and find a way or learn on youtube, you learn on YouTube. yeah we are we struggling are, we are all struggling my videos are not on point me like this i struggle with audio sometimes a lot of times actually yeah. and i'm going to find a way to sort it out but i'm still posting the video because we are in africa <laughs> we are in africa you'll be recording the video and then there will be a yoga seller popping outside there you cannot tell a yoga seller to stop you know honing and then for you to record your oh, video Charlie, you cannot the, stop the, the dog from the, making noise yes, the heat alone you need the to put alone. on your ac or you need to put on the fan yeah then the the what is that? The mic will be recording all we are in those Africa. We are in noise. Africa. The weather is very cold. Yeah. You need air conditioning. If you don't have air conditioning, you need fun. You cannot record in your room without air conditioning or fun. Yeah. You cannot record if you are in compound house. I am very sorry. <laughs> God be with you. <laughs> so I think I have actually enjoyed this video as um, Oferiwa here has actually expressed her feelings and experience being on YouTube. Yeah. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Yeah. So I'll put a link down below for you guys so you guys should go and support her channel because i think in 2021 my last advice for content creators in africa let's try to support, support each other support each other please we, 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 i think they are waiting for us to to become stars or maybe hit 1k or more before but then well it shouldn't be it shouldn't so, be so it because be the last so. time i watched a video of chantal and nello mm -hmm. and chantal was saying that nello um got in touch with her when she was at 100 subscribers you see so at the end of the day nello you, was around 10 k or 11 k yeah. so at the end and of the day she, you don't she have saw her and you know she contacted her and then they did a collab 
Yeah. And now they are all winning. At the end of the day, it now is now not is around five. 5k getting 50K. to 6 50K. Hey, sorry 50k, 50K getting to 6 yeah and Chantal is almost, almost at 10. 10 yeah so at the end of the day it is the Nigerians are not considering themselves yeah. individually they are seeing themselves as a general Nigerian so it is time for Ghanaians to also see themselves as Ghanaians and not individuals because together we win okay, so <laughs> let me end this video for her <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video till the end that is if you didn't skip and you watched all the way through thank you so much and please don't forget to like subscribe, subscribe and, and share, share with friends and family so to meet again same time it's your girl nanek here in tifo and see you bye, bye.